boy. Oh boy. Has this been a long time coming? I don't know yeah. if you guys know. <laughs> Look what we have! This is a Speed here. UTV, dude. That is a real right there, live, in real life. Speed UTV. This feels like we've been waiting on this moment for a long time. For a boys. long time. Very for exciting. Time. Very exciting. Now, this is not our Speed UTV. No. We've borrowed this from a good friend. Good Samaritan to yeah. do. <laughs> to be able to get to uh, experience it, and we're going to experience it fully. But like, we just got our hands on this thing, so we're just taking it in at this moment and there's a there's a lot to take there's in there's a lot to take in a lot of touching a lot of sitting a lot of looking it's been a lot of looking there's a lot to look at there's a lot on this car you're right there's a lot going on here so a like bunch. high level there there's so much going on with these things i don't even know off the top of my head like what model this is or any of those details matt do you know this stuff luckily <laughs> i've been doing us. a lot of research <laughs> so this is a 2023 uh, Speed Baja Bandit Limited Edition. Okay. okay, okay. And the Limited, what that means is it's got the fancy wrap on it, comes with carbon fiber bucket seats, we'll look at that. Okay. Like real bead locks, which are super interesting, the way they're set up, so we'll look at that too. And uh, five-point harnesses. I'm pretty sure that's what the Limited includes. Yeah, these are so. like very, very customizable cars right when you order one of these suckers I, I, there's mm -hmm. millions of options so yeah. everyone's going to be a little a little bit different yeah luckily this one has a bunch of factory installed options on it accessories yep and yep. options but yeah i mean all this stuff yeah I, there, there's so much there's just a lot there's a lot to take in here i'm not even sure where to start going over this i think we just look at it from the outside let's look, at, look it. at it yeah if you touch <laughs> it like it's real. Get your it's, hands off that okay. thing. Hey now, hey now. You said this wasn't real. I'm touching it. It's real. That is I it. I've touched this car a thousand times. So. Real, real live production unit. I mean, some things jump out at you right off the bat when you look at one of these machines. One of them is the shocks are so huge. The reservoirs are ginormous. Are ginormous. They're giant, mm -hmm. giant. Like that was the first thing that stuck out to me as soon as I walked in. The, I mean, we've had this for a couple of days. The first thing that stuck out were those are big ass shocks. Just like they're big. Yeah, there is serious beef. Yeah. It's Matthew pointed something out to too about those shocks is they are the same front and rear. Yeah. All four corners. Mm -hmm. But I can't Very find there uh, unless it's out there somewhere. I can't find any information about these shocks. I know they're internal bypass. I know they have compression and rebound adjustment, but okay. they're speed branded. I. I don't know if they're like a three inch shock or two and a half or they look like a three inch shock. They look like a three or inch shock. Maybe even bigger. Big shock. I don't sure. know. I'm sure information is still coming out slowly because like you said, this people don't know it's it's literally a whole brand new car. Like this is not interchangeable with anything. It's a brand new design from <sighs> Robbie Gordon's team. The whole car is theirs. Let's just let's just look at this stuff, at things that jump out. If you guys have been following speed, you probably have seen a lot of this already but there are so many unique features on this thing just the front bulkhead one giant integrated cast piece that includes suspension mounts ar mounts the diff just massive beefy components in here a arms you know dual shear on all those connections uniball style they're flippable from side to side. Like there's a lot of stuff That's here crazy. that you don't typically see uh, with the other OEMs. Yeah, the weld finish on this is actually like next level looking. Like it actually really has nice looking welds through everything on this. Like super clean, laid out really well, very nice. And we were comparing to Mike Pro there, Dan. Like that, they're very nice welds. It's well done. So it's well done, Mike. Well, well, well done. done. Well done. Well done. Well done. <laughs> Yeah, I just, it's, they are. They're done very nicely. I got to compliment that. So that's cool. Yeah, I haven't looked at any of that. I've just been touching the hood for that. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually pretty impressive. No, it, it is. Yeah, it's because you look a lot of the factory production machines now, and they come with these just quick, you know, blown through welds that kind of are. We'll say mediocre. Which one? Nobody, li Which nobody one likes that. Call them out, Mike. Call them out. <laughs> oh, we're good. Just we're going to stop there. Anyways, but, but yeah, these I mean, picks, dude, we're these really are, are, are nice still walls, connected. So. It's got an overall feel of a kind of custom built thing. Yeah, it definitely yeah. does. It a doesn't. Of, a lot of race car stuff. All this stuff that's adjustable yep. on the arms. 
and even like the the sway bar links are adjustable you can even change the rate or the stiffness of the sway bars like that stuff's pretty darn cool pretty if you're gonna actually race it it is it is all right where winch just got a built-in winch another another really go, another another really, really interesting thing there's not one thing on this car that's not a speed piece literally everything the tire tread uh, is their logo <laughs> the wheels are made by them <laughs> there's like etched logo in the shock like she's a full-on full speed utv everything is speed yeah. it's a speed side by side the, the branding is intense it is intense <laughs> and one thing while you're still up here you see the there's hydraulic lines yeah going up to the front this actually has hydraulic assisted power steering which every other side by side out there it's electric power steering so that's one thing that's quite a bit different from the norm yeah very interesting very interesting i don't know what to think about that hydraulic stuff generally robust dependable mm -hmm. tough so let's go to the rear dude it's my favorite place you know what i'm saying <laughs> wow really okay <laughs> uh, all right no radius rods no radius rods we got these i guess it's a it's a staple i think it's of, definitely of robbie staple. gordon and his suspension Correct. design big old trailing arms dual mounting points up there so you don't need radius rods and i think the purpose of this is to essentially uh create zero scrub as it goes through the suspension travel so that tire just goes straight up and straight down that's the claim to fame no more you know none of this arcing suspension travel and is supposed to make the car just go through bumps in a very straight controlled predictable manner yeah and to achieve that these also have very special rear axles that are dual plunge so they're able to essentially expand and contract uh quite a bit farther a than your normal cv axle since yep. you don't have that arc yep. in the suspension travel. Pretty cool. But yeah, again, back here, I mean, this is, uh, this is beef. This stuff is thick. It's large. It's got good looking welds. Yeah, no radius rods to bend. Yeah, same thing so. with the adjustable Or, or run into. Or run into. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> this one does have two. Uh, so I will say there's only one thing that's not branded speed. It sort of is, but... This actually from the factory has uh, Willwood upgraded brakes, so you can you can upgrade those brakes. And those are Willie boogers, my man. Yeah, speed six, by Willie boogers. Six piston calipers all the way around. That's pretty Which nuts. Pretty sweet. Yeah, that's uh, I don't remember how much it is, but that is an option that you can tick <coughs> when you order one of these things, um, and they'll install it right at the factory. Bigger brakes. Very cool. Yeah, so you mentioned earlier these wheels are kind of crazy too. They are real beadlock wheels. What's you know most interesting about them to me right off the bat is normally your beadlock ring is just that. It's just a ring that bolts on the outside of the bead to the main section of the wheel. In this case, the outer ring is actually the whole center of the wheel. Yeah, That's all, all one piece. One piece. Very, very interesting. So essentially, this plate bolts to the... Barrel. the barrel of the wheel instead of being a separate ring ne i don't think i've ever seen a wheel like that yeah it's almost like a two-piece wheel mm -hmm. except the, the bolts yeah. are on the outside instead of the inside it's very yeah, weird that's true well, that's our true. c wheels are like that yeah. for some reason i don't know what that says <laughs> dude but... robbie gordon dude, you, you like rc cars brother <laughs> <laughs> i mean he sells yeah, rc cars yeah that is true <laughs> i mean what's the advantage of that compared to normal wheels or disadvantage i i honestly off the top of my head don't know but it's yeah, different it's, it's different. interesting mm -hmm. so yep. Yeah, so if you don't know, this is a 1,000cc or 999cc twin that's turbocharged. Yep. It's 225 horsepower, or if you have the speed key, which allows you to run E85 from the factory, it's supposed to be 300 horsepower, which <sighs> that's, would make this thing a beast. That's some pony, so yeah, you know, not a heck of a lot you can see here, but... There's the engine sitting in there, that speed twin cylinder. You got the turbo on the back side, which is an interesting feature. A lot of times you see the turbo off the front side of the engine, kind of tucked in a tight space against the passenger compartment. These guys got it flipped around and have the turbo pretty far back away from the engine. I imagine to manage the heat, seems like a neat thing. 
Yeah, so all these accessories that you see are factory installed when you order these, which is pretty cool. Got all these storage boxes as an option, spare tire, jack, that fire extinguisher. Uh, it even comes with rugged radios from the factory if you want it. You know, a rugged radio setup. Pretty, so. pretty cool. Big old radiator in the back here, triple fans. It's, uh, it, I don't want to say it too much, but it does have like kind of a custom race car yeah. feel to it. it. Even when you get to, you know, features like this, like the oil tank here, like that looks like race car stuff. You got the line on the outside to check the levels. Huh. It's like small, Interesting. like it's, yeah. Feels like a, a miniature trophy truck, I suppose. Yeah. Very unique. Well, okay, let's keep walking around. What do we got that's interesting on this side, on this corner? Love the one fact right off the bat. Three clips basically contains the whole clutch cover housing coming off to change in a belt. So giant aluminum clutch cover, and you're saying it's quick release. Yeah, it's just... Oh yeah, let's just try that real you're quick. You're saying it's quick release. There's only okay. three of them, I believe. Oh, man. Oh, oh, oh. That one's a little tricky to reach. Yeah, I don't know how you're... Maybe from the back side you can get to that. Yeah, I'm at a bad angle for this. Yeah, sorry, Matt. You can cut this part out. <laughs> Hold up. Here, I think you can go right over top. I think we need one more person in here. Steve, get I'll, get, in there. I'll get in there. Steve, get in there. <laughs> get in there. <laughs> Someone can get in. <laughs> oh, actually, I oh, can't get that real oh, easy. There. That's what I said. If you go over the, I actually <laughs> meant like if you go over the two. Right, listen, need... we're not making fun of this. We just actually like this. You know, we're just we, learning. We've this never car done as this well, before. So. It doesn't seem to want to. Yeah, I'm on the latch hard, but it's a do. Anyways, it seems like once you learn how these latches work right, and Steve. get a feel for them. <laughs> okay. Okay. So now she should come right off. And there okay. it is. Sort of. I'm not going to take that tube off, but that honestly is actually. Yeah, I will. Okay. <laughs> so yep. Once you pop those three clips, there's one tube on the front of the clutch cover, and then the whole aluminum clutch cover comes off. That's super cool. That is super cool. You know, blowing belts is a real thing. It's always been a real thing. It's probably always going to be a real thing. Yeah. The fact that you can access it quickly, not only really change a broken belt, but the two clutches or maintain Man, clutches. That's, that's, a, that that cover that's a big is piece. That's nice. Not plastic. That that's that's a big unit. A monster. Wow, look at that fan. Oh, okay. Look at that clutch. Oh, there's two Here fans. Here we go. Yeah, so both clutches right off the bat have fans on them to keep the air moving. Is it a full billet clutch? Or is it just the outer hub? Sure. That right there Looks like is, something. is a tap primary, my man. Is from, it really? From the factory. That's a tap clutch. Wow. Oh, it is. Yep. Pretty neat. So we've been running these clutches on a lot of things for a while now <gasps> and are a big, big fan of them for yeah. many reasons. The design, super robust, super stiff. They work good. They hold up good. Super easy to adjust. You can actually make some adjustments literally by hand without tools. So that's a very nice primary clutch. You can sum up one word. Badass. Oh, a little light. Yeah. Big clutches, wide center to center, so long belt. And an interesting thing too, when you need to change your belt, there's no special tool to get this secondary open. You actually just stick a pry bar between here and here. Okay. And just lever it open and then the belt can come right off. So there's Honestly, no special, you know, opening tool or anything like that. Not mad about that. That's that's kind of nice to mm -hmm. not have to worry about carrying and while you're here, special like, tools. Standard Donaldson style air filter on there. Okay, we know those are good. You got your speed turbo. Oh, look at that. It literally is a speed turbo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Pretty interesting. Uh, yeah, so let's just uh, let's check out the inside of this thing. Yep, yep, yep. Now, I did read in a magazine, this is structural with the way the secondary and primary <laughs> sit on Oh! There. Oh, they sit okay. in them. Okay, that's really interesting. But they're guided. Are like there the bearings? These are bearings. Whoa! Okay. I didn't notice that. That's actually super cool. So there's bearings on the stem of both the primary and the secondary that sit into these pockets. So wow. they're actually supporting the outside of the clutches. That's really neat. 
Good call. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was in a comic book, man. It was right next to the sea monkeys. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we you, better not run it without this cover. Yeah, this needs what action. Needs to be on. <laughs> I mean, you could get away with it probably, but that's really, <clears throat> that's really cool. So if you guys have been around like the super high horsepower stuff for a while, you'll see in the aftermarket, sometimes they'll tie the clutches together on the outside with an aftermarket aluminum piece with some bearings in it to keep those clutches from deflecting and getting closer together under load. Speed just takes care of you. That's pretty yeah, crazy. That is cool. Super crazy. All right, you ready to get inside the sucker, dude? Yeah, yeah well, Matt, you get inside. Let me hop it. Hop in with me. Oh, together. Together. Check this out. <laughs> hey, check this out. Hey, do that again. <laughs> My man, go that's ahead. a ride up, dude. <laughs> Are you jumping in that carbon fiber seat? Carbon fiber. This is real carbon fiber, oh, yeah. right? Is this? No. 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 That's yeah, not, and you but, can, you know. when you order these two, I found out, you can choose the size and shape of your seats. Yeah, There's a couple I of different know. options. Yeah. So these are actually like the wider optioned seats. Okay. This works well for me. I've got what you call them birthing hips. You got so. the wide hips. <laughs> You're going to like what? this option too, Nick Zeus. You can also get them heated. Heated seats. These, these are heated. These are heated. Oh, these are heated. Okay. Oh, yeah. Get your facts right, Mike. You Jeez. stupid. I'm just here for Matthew. <laughs> Did you even research for this video? Were you even prepared for this? Yeah, come on, man. This interior is pretty interesting. All right, let's just see how you look in there. Hey, where are you guys going? I'm going to speed. <laughs> you look pretty good in there. There's you got lots of headroom. Wow. Okay, so these are these are things people are interested in. You got lots of headroom. So Tons if you're a tall guy, yeah. seems like no problem. Yeah, what are you like, 6'2, six 6'1? Six yeah, I'm 5'11". There's when I started this journey, I was six foot. <laughs> <laughs> There's a ton of leg room over here. Okay. On okay. the passenger side, like, I could have at least two feet longer legs. <laughs> Matt! Uh, at least. <laughs> All right, so anyway. what, jumps, what jumps out at you here? Big steering wheel? What jumps wheel? out at me is there's a lot of buttons in here. A lot of buttons. Yes. There's a lot of buttons. Mm -hmm. Another thing that jumps out at me is this ginormous screen. Should we just see what that's like? You can just key this sucker out. Wait, hold on. Oh, oh, oh you I gotta see it. it. Yeah, you already did it. It's too late. But uh, anyway, yeah, these don't have a physical key that you stick on a post. You actually have this. It's a fob. You got a, a fob. key fob, a fob. Which you can actually, it doesn't have door locks, but it actually, you can lock and unlock the machine. I'm okay. not sure what that does, because if so you if don't have the key with you, it won't power up at all. So, hmm. what if you unlocked it and took the key out? then it won't power up. It still won't power up. Now you know. You Mystery. Gotta, you but gotta yeah, ask these questions. Depending on which of these, I guess they come with three different fobs. And one is the valet fob, which limits the speed. Okay. Wow. One is the regular fob, which is this one. And then the other one is the speed key. So okay. whichever one you have in your pocket is what mode the machine is going to be no in. full so neat huh. so we it's don't have standard. we don't have the speed key no, right that would be no. the yeah you okay. upgraded no. key. just no unfortunately sure. not but yeah 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 look at this dash though like that's a big very cool dash yeah it is yeah, there's a lot there's... of information it tells you tire pressure yeah there's tire pressures there's all these different screens you got all the sensors that you could possibly want that's a you lot know, of data engine oil temp you got ethanol content you got fuel pressure front diff oil temp rear diff oil temp belt temp like so much information pretty wild you a lot got more a front than you camera we have okay you got a front camera, you got a rear camera, tailgate's down, so sure, sure. you can't really see too much from there. Wow, but look and at all these, I haven't seen all these yet. All these configurations, service coming soon. That'd be like over the Information air? Information coming soon. I'm assuming that would be an over the air update. But yeah, and then right here, you've got tire pressure and temperature. That seems crazy, right? Yeah. It is, is it? actually pretty sweet. Do we have we have G-force data? G-force data. The angle your machines at. Yep, your uh, pitch and roll. Sort of crazy. A lot of data. So I mean, it doesn't like it doesn't. I don't know. To me, it doesn't feel like just an average side by side. It just feels like a like a custom. It's got the machine. custom race car yeah. feel to it. It is like a again. race car. This especially. Right, Explain what's going, this. What's man. going on down here? Yeah. So to so, shift between the gears, you would think that it would be normal just, you know, back and forth. But this is actually a ratchet shifter. So we're in park right now. Yep. And then you just click it back. No. Now you're in reverse. Okay. Click it back again. Neutral. Okay. And then you've got first. Okay. Second. And third. And what that is, is you're 
typical transmission ranges. So instead of having just a high and a low, you've got your first gear, which is low, and then second gear, which is kind of like in between low and high, but it's for general use and driving. And then if you want to go real fast, you've got third gear. Pretty neat. Yeah. That is highly unusual. So yeah, Super just, unusual. Yeah, just, it's not a shift on the fly either. Like you pick your gear when you take off. Like right. first would be your rock crawler low, second's your play around, third's your overdrive. It's yep. sort of like having high low, which you're used to, but you've got a third option and you get to those options via a ratchet shifter. Yeah, as opposed it's to honestly, <laughs> it, feels, it feels good. Yeah. And then you have a mechanical uh, four wheel drive selector here too. And it's all, I don't believe there's any Can like it focus? electronics. Yeah. I be don't believe there's any electronics involved because uh, there is a physical like rod that goes to the front diff to lock it in. Yeah. That's so, pretty, that's pretty cool. That's I mean, gotta be cool. tough and so reliable, they say, you know? Yeah, they say when you're rolling to actually put in drive, have just like the tiniest roll, like Matt said mechanically, and you push it in and it will lock wow. in. You don't do it from a stationary position, so. It's like old cool, old school truck yeah, stuff. Yeah, that's what it, it feels just, like. It yeah, feels like a, like an old truck. Yeah, like this thing, it's pretty neat. Yeah, yeah a nice big glove box. That is a big All glove wireless box. winch. Pretty I don't know what that's, that's for. That's gotta be for We can't show that. <laughs> Put that back in there. <laughs> What uh, I, I tell you what, I'll let that get in there. Justin! <laughs> Justin! <laughs> uh, I'll tell you what I love on this thing. If you look around the top, it actually, they have power outlets like, everywhere. There's one, two, three, four. They just have power everywhere for you want, putting accessories in or She's lighting or whatever. Wired up. You got all the switches Jeez. down here to control all those suckers. <laughs> Sorry, Justin. <laughs> you know? One more time. Okay. Oh. Holy cow. You've oh. hit everything except for the actual <laughs> headlights that are over here. Uh. It's Very cool. Oh, yeah, it also has this thing has, it has factory a horn turn signals and turn signals mm -hmm. from factory. Kind of interesting. Which is pretty crazy. So we can rip the streets, boys. Yeah, I don't know if I showed too. Like it's a push button. Like it has a start and stop. Yeah. Pretty yeah. cool but car. This was so option with the rugged stuff, right? Yeah. yeah. It, like so they installed that before it was delivered. And you can see, like the only thing that's weird in here is, you know, like this would be where a kicker system would be, I suppose. You're telling me that's not a kicker system. That unfortunately well, is a sticker. It's just a decal. <laughs> I'm not sure why that decision was made, but what, that's another thing too. Like I guess you can order a screen that would give, you know, the passenger all that information. Also a sticker mm -hmm. over there. But would like an RG clarification on that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seen something similar on power wheels at Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think it's just a tease. You. It's just a tease you to say, hey, these are the options you could have, but you were too, you know, too cheap to order. Yeah. Check, check. Who are you talking to? Huh? <laughs> talking to you. Man, very neat. A lot of stuff to take him when you're looking at this sucker. I mean, things you guys would kind of expect from this program at this point. Roll cage, you know, it's nice, it's beefy, the welds are good. This has got a nice windshield on it. Nice glass, glass windshield, windshield. Glass fits windshield. super well. I mean, the light bar brackets are I, not messing around. This is like quarter inch thick. There's yeah, a lot to HD. this car. It's yeah, all came from the factory this like car. this. Yeah. Uh, the whole car is pretty crazy. Like, it's over the top. The whole car is over the top. Right. Let's be honest about it, dude. All right, so honestly, based on your initial, what you thought of these beforehand and seeing this for the first time, like, overall, exceeds your expect expectations, doesn't live up to it. Are you more excited about it, less excited about it after seeing it? Probably more excited about it. Yeah. Like, let me tell you about this thing, the first thing you see it. What you think to yourself is, I want to drive that sucker. Yeah. Super duper hard. Yeah. So that'll come in the next few days. But until then, it's just a machine, so I gotta drive it. <laughs> you know, like, until then, it's, it's cool. Hey, cool yeah. car, but yeah. I gotta drive this. And I, I think I agree with that. Honestly, you know, seeing lots of new model releases at this point, pretty used to it. I wasn't expecting to be blown away, but after seeing it in person, sitting oh, yeah. in it feeling that it seems like it's kind of a race car and yeah. seeing the the build quality on some of the stuff and the beef on the some of the stuff the beefiness is kind of the most shocking thing to me like it is i mean she's stout i'm more impressed than i thought i would yeah, be yeah i agree it's uh, it's stout. there's things i don't agree with but there's things i don't agree with with every machine there's things right. you don't agree with <sighs> you yeah. guys want to talk about that now or <laughs> That's for another video. My love for, for Jasmine Rice, dude. I don't know how one man can eat plain, unsalted 
Never mind. <laughs> just write me up. Just write me up. Uh, all right, so I'm pretty fired up about Dino and this thing. Yeah, I think I'm, that's the next logical step. Like, let's just put it, because you find out so much. Here's the thing. So we're going to go riding with this very soon, basically 48 hours from now. Yeah. But we're going to go riding with the owner. He's not here. We don't want to be disrespectful and go rip the crap out of it while he's not here. So, like, let's find him middle ground. Let's put it on the dyno so we can hear it. Roll the tires a little What's bit. What's the harm with the dyno, you know? It's not like you blew anything up on him before. We right. actually may or may not have exactly. driven this already. I mean, just the Yeah, little but bit. not like how you want to drive it. <laughs> it's just right. a taste. No, like, no, no, no. I mean, we may have driven it on the trails. Already. Oh yeah, that oh, video might be this we one. May have it's a super good point. <laughs> we'll just have to see. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Yeah. I think we should throw this thing on the dyno. Roll that roller. See what kind of number it Two, can put down. Two twenty five was crank, right? Two twenty five. Two twenty five is crank horsepower. All right. Well, let's get it, let's get it strapped up and then we'll uh, place our bets and send this thing. Place our bets, huh? <laughs> Here's the deal. Can't quite fit our hands in there for the RPM pickup. We're not gonna have RPM. Not that big a deal. It's CVT. We're gonna do horsepower over speed like we normally do with CVT units. We got 225 claimed crank horsepower. Of course, this is a wheel dyno and it's a conservative one. It humbles people. It does. So you gotta understand, this is not measuring crank horsepower. This is gonna measure lower than the claimed crank horsepower for sure. And that is completely normal. Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of power gets lost between the engine and the wheels. Right. So keep that in mind. That's correct. All right. Now that that's out of the way, Seuss, do you have a guess at horsepower? I'm guessing right now. Yep. 168 horsepower. Oh, boy. See what I did there? Yeah. Wonder where you got that number from. <laughs> nah. I was thinking 172. Okay. Okay. Justin? Uh, 225. This dyno makes you feel small yep. i'm gonna say 175. okay okay steve i'm going 163. this thing's got some like real soft tires on it yep i think the number is going to be lower than what we'd expect all right mike yeah. i'll be the optimist 180. Yeah, interesting okay yeah, here's the deal i'm going super conservative 157. <laughs> tough guy huh? all right everyone remember their numbers yep Yeah, 22 inches of suspension travel. <laughs> we saw it all. We that saw one. Oh, Holy crap. I'll be honest, boys, that felt pretty spicy. Okay, listen, the data's already up. Yeah. So we messed up here a little yeah, bit. Yeah, we kind of nobody reacted. Oh my God. Oh, no, real quick. It's not up. Really quick. Okay, we just have a line. Whoever gets closest to this, I think the prize should be gets to drive it first. Okay. Okay. Because other than there is no prize. Uh, we got we got something this on the line felt here. Like it was doing a wheelie on the dyno. I'm like, whoa! This I thing. thought you were uh, going out the wall. Like. All right, man. Hit us with the data. Oh, hit us with we got uh, we got I, a little issue here. I know, it takes you know. It's been a while since we run the dyno. So we'll, oh, there it is! Wow. Okay. One seventy. One seventy to the wheel. Okay. Wow, I was too I was off. I was too off. I mean, well. if you think about no. it, what do you mean? Oh yeah, he you was were. 168. <laughs> what did math, you say, Matt? I can't do math. I did did you say 72? Oh, is this Price is Right rules? Matt, yeah. it's closer. Yeah. It's closer, it's closer to 172. Oh, it is closer to 172. But can you go over? I think you. Yeah. Oh, we didn't call Price is Right rules. So I think <laughs> Matt. I think Matt's the winner here. I think we gotta run again. Yeah, I think we have to run again. Maybe we could run it again. But honestly, pretty good number. Yeah, that's a solid number. That's a super good number. Yeah. So just for comparison's sake, obviously we're not trying to compare this thing against any machines right mm -hmm. now, but like, let's pull up 
a Pro R. I mean, like which is also supposed to be 225 so crank. Tw yeah, 20% yep. loss through the CVT on this it comes out to 180 from 225. So I mean, that's a pretty common Three safe simple. number. So mm -hmm. reasonable. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see here. There's a Pro R. No, no way. Fooling. Holy moly. Basically, right on top of one another. Yep. So I would say she makes the power. It's it's real. It makes the power. Mm -hmm. Except you know you see the the Pro R curve being NA. It yep. doesn't have that initial torque hit from the boost. Yep. There's so, the boost comes in and then it controls it settles down. That's cool to see. On graph like that. I do yeah, wonder very if, like, it was moving around so much. I wonder if that had threw that little those later number off a little bit. Maybe it let's down. Yeah, but. maybe we can strap it down a little tighter and just yeah. give it one more pull. That's back. my I, like. I'm still run. a little dealing with. <laughs> I thought it was coming at us. Too <laughs> it, it, it one did a more lot of run. things when I was sitting on it. So. All right, boys. Run number two. Tighten the straps a little bit more. Maybe this will be a little bit less dramatic. Less dramatic. I hope so. You know, maybe still dramatic, but. Control. Ooh. 165. Okay, so she's sense. Things you know, are a little a little too hot now. She's a little more she's a little more heat soaked now. The power came down just a little bit. But obviously, you know, reasonably close. It's a real result. I mm -hmm. think at the end of the day. Okay, we're back in focus. <laughs> the thing from my perspective likely makes the power it's supposed I to. I agree. I agree. So. It seems like it's pretty pretty straightforward. Yeah. Well, Turns out I want to drive it now. So. That's a speed UTV. So yeah, yeah, I don't know the timing of these videos, but if you guys want to see like the driving, the trail ride, the ripping, the comparisons, head on over to uh, side, side by side, by side blog, blog yep. channel. The main channel. <sighs> speed UTV. I'm still surprised a little bit it's here. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. So yeah, very cool to have one in our shop. Heck yeah. All right, boys. We'll see you again soon. See you guys next time. At 110 Garage. Keep it. 100.